Yo, what is going on guys? My name is McCook23 and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and another episode of why you should play this class or the subclass. I was originally going to do each class its own video, but after seeing the length of the solar, I decided not to um, because it took up almost the entire Mayhem match. So yeah, I think I'm just going to make each one its, its subclass its own video. A uh, lot of videos, but you know, it'll be fun. Um, so today we're going to be looking at Void, um, this one is the one I mainly use in PvE, it's the first 3.0 system to come out, and yeah, let's jump right into it. So, let's look at the rifts. The rifts, again, if you didn't see the solar one, I'll, I'll go over the jumps and the rifts, um, but these are universal across all Warlock classes. Um, so you can skip ahead. Don't worry about the little void thing up there. I will explain that in a second. Healing Rift, a little circle. Uh, you stand in it, you get healed. If you're already at full health, you, um, get an overshield. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about that. Um, Empowering Rift, same kind of idea, but instead of healing, you get a damage buff. I think it has a wider radius, um, but you get like a 10% damage buff. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, Offhand, I don't know anything that like it hugely buffs goes from like a three tap to a two top or anything like that. Um, I prefer healing rift, uh, but empowering rift is not bad in PvP. Let's go over the glides quick. I'm going quite fast because I already went over this in my solar video. Uh, I went more in depth uh, in that video. So if you want to learn more about the rifts and the jumps, go over there. What I use a lot in PvE again, strafe glide. Use a lot of directional control. Um, so, if I, uh, Sam jumping there, and I'm like, oh crap, I overshot the jump, I can now go back, and hopefully, never mind, it's because of that fucking thing up there, but you get the idea, you know, I, I'm like, oh, oh crap, I overjumped, I, I could maybe get back over there, but, you know, I sucked Parker. So, very nice for PvE and platforming, not as great in PvP, we also have Burst Glide, this launches you forward at incredibly fast speeds um very nice for pvp not a whole lot of directional control again i'm holding a on my keyboard and i yeah not terribly great for directional control next we have balance slide this oh, keyboard thank you um it's kind of a mix between the two you go forward a little bit and get a little bit of directional control i don't really like it because either i want directional control or i want to go forward um i never really need to do both at the same time so balance guide is kind of mid um the void unique well it used to be void unique until our hunters got it we have blink so it's just a teleport uh, I am not a master at blink. If you encounter someone who is very good at using blink, it is scary. Um, it does have a cooldown. You can't see it though, so you can blink twice in the span of like five seconds or something. So again, I can't blink now. Um, it's kind of fun in PvP, but it's not super practical. Not good at platform at all. Um, because no, you're gonna like. If you miss the jump, you're not getting back. Like, I, I would have died there if it was like pivoting and then the gap. Um, so not a whole lot of like maneuverability. You can kind of outplay some people with it. It can be kind of fun. Um, our melees. We only get one melee as a Void Warlock, uh, but it's kind of fun. It's called Pocket Singularity. You throw this little Void Ball, it explodes. Um, let me talk about the Void verbs first before I get too deep into all the abilities and you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So the first one we have volatile. Um you basically put a little tick on the enemy and doing damage to them will make them implode kind of. It won't like kill them like it will with an ignition on solar, but it will like do more damage to them. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, um, but if you use anything um, that like makes stuff volatile, you'll see what I mean. It gets this little purple aura around them, and then shooting them makes that explode, um, and they basically just take more damage. Also, killing someone who's volatile with a void weapon will, actually I think with any weapon, will make them explode and spread volatile to other people. 
it's great for ad clear and stuff. It's basically just disintegration, the verb. Uh, it's great. Uh, does this show me? Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, so yeah. Next up, we have our grenades. Uh, I want to get back up here. The one that I think is the best, personally, is the void or the uh, vortex grenade. This one, it's very similar to like your solar grenade on solar. Uh, but it will pull enemies in, hence the name Vortex Grenade. So if I'm like over here, then I'll get like pulled in to the um, to the radius. So it's kind of nice for again zoning. Um, if you want to use it in PvP, say someone's hiding behind that wall right there, you can go ahead throw one there. It'll pull them out of cover, hopefully. Um, maybe throw it a bit more here, and it'll pull them out of cover. Do some damage with the grenade, and now you can shoot them. Um, pretty good. The pull is very effective now with the buff. It used to not pull at all, but now it does. So, the spike grenade, very popular in PvP. Um, if you watch Grenade or Jake, it's one of his favorite grenades. Um, it's very similar to the trip mine. You throw it on a wall, and it just kind of like has this void energy that sucks the life out of your enemy. Um, so again, I showed this in my solar video, um, tag someone twice, they run behind cover, boom, not getting away from me that easily, right? So just constant damage, uh, very nice, um, yeah. And then suppressor, suppression grenades, these are uh, not super popular, but they're pretty good. Um, you throw it, I, I can't really demonstrate it except on myself, so you throw it. It does quite a bit of damage. Now I'm suppressed, so I can't double jump. I can't use any of my abilities. Um, I'm basically just sitting down. I can, I can, I can sprint. I can still shoot, but I can't double jump. I can't, like, yeah, I can't do a lot of stuff. Um, so it's very nice to hinder your opponents. It is a little hard to hit. The radius is kind of tiny, and um, it, yeah, it it bounces a lot. Has a long detonation, so it's hard to hit. But if you can hit it. Um, then, um, yeah, if you can hit it, then it's very powerful. Uh, Void Wall, if you saw my solar video, again, a lot of stuff is kind of similar. Um, this is like the thermite, but it goes two ways. So, you throw it down, and it's just this constant wall that goes both ways. Um, again, great for pushing people out of cover. Say it again, tag someone twice, throw a void wall, boom. Now they have to run away. Maybe that was a bit too far of a throw. Yeah, it was. But you get the idea. Nice for getting people out of cover. Um, what am I? Scatter grenades. Scatter grenades are very cool. Um, they're a top pick in PvE. Uh, not bad in PvP too, but they're a little hard uh, because they are just randomized projectiles. So you throw it down. It splits into a bunch of mini frags that all do a bunch of damage. Really nice for taking out a bunch of adds. I do prefer the Vortex grenade better though. Uh, just because it has a bit more of a control factor. You pull people in. Um, but it's pretty good. Scatter grenades are definitely pretty good. Um, magnetic grenades. These things are basically just weaker grenades. I don't see a whole lot of people using them. But, you know, they're not bad. They stick. And boom, boom. It's like a fusion grenade. It doesn't do that much damage. Um, you're better off using something else. It's not super great. And then we have the Axion Bolts. The Axion Bolts are... How do I put this? Very annoying. They can be a huge pain in their ass in PvP. They suck in PvE. Uh, but it spawns... It didn't do it now because there's no enemy. But basically, it throws like this little scanner in. And... It'll spawn this like ball of void energy that will track to an opponent. Uh, it does tons of damage, um, and yeah, it does it does tons of damage um, if it can hit. It does move a little slow. Enemies can destroy them, but if it hits, it does a lot of damage and it'll track them for a long time. So those are grenades. Moving on to aspects, we have devour or feed the void. Sorry, um, this has the verb devour. Uh, basically, final blows with um, while devour is active will regen your health and grant you um, grenade energy, and extend the time for devour. So that's kind of 
confusing. Basically, you proc devour. Um, we'll say there's like an enemy there, and you hit him with this, you kill him with Feed the Void, you then proc devour, you have like a 13 second cooldown, and killing any other enemy will reset that timer, get you to full HP, and give you a little bit of energy for your uh, abilities. Um, and doing that again will reset devour. But if devour runs out, you'll then have to get like another ability kill to reproc devour. It's a little confusing to explain but in practice it's very simple child of the old gods this has the verb weaken um when someone is weakened they take all critical hit damage um so no longer do body shot damage you do full critical hit damage um and i believe they have yeah it says here they have their movement speed slowed um so it's it's very nice um especially in pve uh, it buffs your damage a whole lot. So, that is this little purple thing. It casts your rift, and now you have a little purple buddy uh, shooting someone. Obviously, there's no one here to shoot because uh, I'm in a lobby alone. But shooting someone will make this little void buddy track onto them, and it'll fly over here and just kind of plant itself. It has a big radius, uh, and anybody who comes in there will become weakened. Um, so, yeah, it's, that one's pretty simple. Um,. The other one is Chaos Accelerant. This one's kind of fun. Um, certain grenades will make will become better. So the Vortex Grenade, you hold it down, and now you can you can hold your grenade. It's not like consuming it like uh, the other one, but now you can see how much bigger the radius is. You know, it only stretched to here before, but now it's all the way out here. Um, it increases the suck potential of the vortex grenade, so you get pulled for farther, or from farther. Sorry. Um, the axion bolt. I won't switch to that because it just creates an additional seeker. It, there's nothing visual that's going to happen. Um, really, there's nothing that is you're going to be able to see other than the vortex grenade, the scatter grenade. All those little mini explosions will now, will now track onto targets, so it's a bit easier to hit. Um, releases a short range void, void blast for magnetic grenades. Don't worry about that because you shouldn't be using magnetic grenades anyways. Um, fragments. So, um, again, all of these have verbs. Um, oh, invisibility and overshield. Cool. Um, invisibility, it's not full invisibility. In PvE, enemies can't see you. Um, so they won't shoot you or anything. Um, you have this little, like, purple outline of yourself on, uh, sorry. Certain, uh, PvP maps, it can be really annoying because the outline is very hard to see and you basically are invisible. Um, shooting will take you out of invisibility. Um, we'll go over that more when we talk about Void Hunters, because they're pretty much all about invisibility. Uh, Overshield is more of a Titan thing. Um, that gives you just an Overshield. You have more health, um, your tank gear. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, here, Vo Echo of Undermining. Your Void Grenades weaken targets. Defeating targets with grenades grant volatile rounds to your Void Weapon. So again, volatile, that's, um, that first verb we talked about basically they get consumed by void, void energy and they will explode upon taking additional damage so this makes all of your weapons fired by void or all of your rounds fired by void weapons to apply that effect to enemies so very handy uh very nice for ad clear and stuff uh defeating weakened targets with your or defeating weakened targets with precision final blows will create an orb of power uh just nice to have. And then void buffs applied to do invisibility over shield and devour have increased duration. So you'll, with Warlock, um, devour will have like a longer timer. So you'll be able to refresh it easier. Um, yeah. Void ability final blows cause your uh, targets to explode. This is nice, except we already have that. So pocket singularity, if you kill someone with this, they will already explode and unleash volatile upon everybody else. So. It's nice, but not super needed. Um, uh, defeating targets with grenades, grants melee energy. 
kind of nice. Again, a lot of the void fragments are just nice to have. Mene, final blows, grant grenade energy. Kind of the reverse, right? Um, your lingering grenade effects uh, have an increased duration, so your vortex grenade, void wall, spike grenade, and axiom bolt uh, will all stay active for longer. Um, final blows when surrounded by combatants grant super energy. Kind of nice. Um, it's currently equipped. Melee final blows start regen health regen for you and your en nearby allies. Pretty good. Uh, after suppressing the target, you gain greatly increased mobility for a short duration, and your equipped weapon is reloaded from reserves. Kind of a lot there, but again, nice to have. While crouched, you sneak faster and gain enhanced razor radar resolution. Um, defeating targets with... Well, that's already currently applied, so it's that. Finishers grant invisibility. And finally, pick up, picking up an orb of power grants devour. So yeah, that is pretty neat. Um, supers. Let's check out supers, shall we? So, there are two main supers that we have on Void Warlock. Um, despite there being three, there's Nova Bomb and there's Nova Warp. Nova Bomb is a one and done, one pop. You throw it and your super is gone. Kind of super. Um, have, what is it called? Nova War is a roaming super, so you can stay in it for a while and you'll see that. So, what I'm using right now is Nova Bomb Vortex, so use it, it shoots basically a buffed Vortex grenade. It does a ton of damage on impact and just over time it'll pull enemies in for a really far distance. Um, again, here we go. It launches it. You do have to aim it a bit. It doesn't have any tracking and it does have some drop, but once you get good at it, it's very good. Um, Cataclysm. This one is widely superior in PvP. Um, it just does a lot of damage and stuff. Um, so you throw it. It is slower. Notice how slower it is, but it is a bigger explosion and it spawns these little void supers. Um, any of those projectiles, including the giant Nova Bomb, again, will insta-kill a Guardian, super or no super, there's literally no way to survive it. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it for Nova Bomb. The Cataclysm, also called Slova Bomb, um, will track, whereas the Vortex does not. Nova Warp, this thing kind of sucks, I won't lie. Nova Warp is pretty bad. Uh, there's not a whole lot of redeeming things about Nova Warp. You can do this little blink thing, and charge it up, and boom, explosion. Uh, you can't blink while you're charging, so, you know, you can do little short blinks, or, or um, not short blinks, short bursts, or long bursts. It's a very niche pick, there's not a whole lot of great options. Um, yeah, that's pretty much Void. I know I went over that pretty quick that's because a lot of the stuff was fairly consistent throughout the subclass right you know the jumps and the healing rifts and stuff like that very consistent throughout uh warlocks but you know it's cool anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like if you guys really enjoyed be sure to subscribe that'd be awesome if you want to see me do more destiny 2 like content like this in the future let me know down in the comments if you want to get in touch with me, the best place is on Twitter or Discord. Both will be linked in the description. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.